Hello YouTube! I am now going to be showing you guys how to make a GUI based um, options menu for your games. So this engine, or with this tutorial I'm going to be using my uh, custom GUI engine which pretty much makes it really easy to be able to develop uh, GUIs inside Studio. Um, all completely code based but don't fret it's actually very very easy to use it basically the buttons return a value whenever for example you move a mouse over a button it returns like two or you click uh, go to like left release the button it like returns one or stuff like that when we're not doing nothing it returns zero uh, etc anyways okay so let's go I'm gonna go quickly go ahead and create the uh, project so options menu now I'm gonna go ahead and click create maximize this Alright, so first I'm going to real quickly import my scripts to it. Okay, I'm gonna have this have the scripts in the download uh, in the description for a download link in case you want to download it. Strongly recommend uh, strongly recommend getting it. I love my engine I made. It's really a time saver. Anyways, so you don't have to worry about having millions of objects, just one line of code, have a having a button and everything. Okay, so now first things first, before we use the engine, I'm gonna quickly show you how to set it up. OBJ engine. And this has to be called before everything else. Give it a really low depth. So add event, create, and this is all you have to do. And this is only for if you want to use like inputs, such as like the user, uh, yeah, user like input field or password field. But the buttons will work just fine without this. But uh, type. <coughs> Can't let me think. Sorry. GUI init. Sorry, I just woke up. <laughs> but this is all you have to do, and it will initialize the engine. Now let's go ahead and create a room, put this object in the room. I strongly recommend putting this in the first room and making it persistent so that way it runs in every single room. Otherwise you're going to get non-existent non variable uh, errors. Alright, so now that's with that said, let's go ahead and create a sprite. This will be our options button sprite. Alright, so the first thing we're going to make it so you pretty much do this with any, images, any image sequence you want. I'm going to show you how to set that up in the script as well. But first, let's go ahead and create it. Uh, say two five or two five six again, five thirty two. Uh, okay, go to oh, I'll use the round rectangle. Do 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 do. And options. Oop, uh, I'm going to be upgrading this uh, menu a bit more before I give it give it to you guys, so you can actually have like check boxes and stuff. But I'm showing you how to set up a basic example first. Okay, so um, hmm, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this button. So let's go ahead and create. Or I don't have to create another object. I'm just going to create and create another object just for drawing everything, all, drawing all the buttons and stuff. But you don't need to create a new object. Let's call this OBJ BTN. Oops, let's call BTN. Alright, I'm showing you how to see, how to use this, use this engine in the first in this tutorial. Next tutorial, I'm uh, going to be showing you. I'm going to be adding in a few more scripts to make it where you can actually be able to make a decent options menu. But the next tu tutorial, I'm going to show you actually how to make the options menu itself. All right, like I said, this one is just for showing you how to use it. Then add event and draw. Do not put this in the draw GUI event. It will it does break with the draw GUI event, so I strongly advise against it. Anyway, so go add go to add the draw event and add some code and right here um uh, btn return is equal to gui draw button here we go and i can mean like you said very easy to use so this is the x and y that you want to draw the button at so let's say at five five and enable to true if it's set to false the button will pretty much go as if it's constantly being clicked down and you will not be able to click the button so now the sprite spr underscore options button and image up image down image disabled and image over and actually yeah image disabled okay now this is going to return a value whenever you go use it it's going to return true if the person has clicked it uh, so if button value is equal to, or button return is equal to true let's make a show a show debug message show debug message it is our click. Okay, and that is it. That's all I have to do to use the engine. Let me go ahead and add this object to the room now. Again, you just duplicate this line of code as many times as you want. 
watch. Now copy, paste, oops, paste, 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 and just change the uh, y value. So let's say f oh, it's 32, 40, so 4, 5, 8, 5, and 165. Or 125, my bad. Derp. Okay. Oops, actually, just so you know it does work. I'm going to quickly make it so each one uh, has a slight difference in the text. It, it is R clicked. One, two, three, and four. So now we'll go ahead and test this out. And. And now, if you look in the debug log, watch. It is R clicked. One, two, three, and four. And that is how you use my GUI engine. It's easy as that. Alright guys, um, I will see you in part two of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And see you in the next tutorial. Uh, tutor tutorial. Uh, tutorial. Adios. Bye.